Right, right. It's 11 o'clock the following morning. We shot him around 5.30 last night, so he's had plenty of time, I think. Uh, we got a good marker on where we last saw him in the corn, so hopefully we can get on good blood and find him in a hurry. Uh, we'll see you in the field. That is fucking sweet. <laughs> Way to go, man. Still got the arrow in him. He's a stud. Yeah, I never Excuse ripped me. that arrow up. Wow, jeez. Yeah. They're all scoreable, too, all 14. I, think, I thought he might break some of this off, but he's got so much mass, I think. Jeez. Damn, dude. Way to go, man. And he's, he's, boy. Not, he's not. He's not. He's been dead that long, has no. Like Troy said, he, he might have. I got worried when he said we might have jumped him up because that blood is fresh from down there too. Right. Yeah, but look at
Thanks. Okay. All right, well, as you can see, we caught up to him finally. I hit this buck last night, made a really bad shot on him. He came in pretty fast, didn't really have much time to think. Uh, he's quartering to me slightly. When he came in, I was about 30 yards when I first saw him. And he's coming right down the trail, coming right underneath me. And I was getting all my cameras turned on. And I bumped my bow and he kind of caught a glimpse of that. And he looked up at me for a half second. And then he kind of went off the course that he was on. And he, I saw him about 50 yards away after he got through the brush. He was going, going the other way. And I grunted. And as you can see, he just came flying right in. And uh, hit him. He just slowly, slowly trotted off and he saw the arrow in him. I could see there was organs hanging on him. I knew he was hurt bad. He, could, he was all hunched over, could barely walk. Um, but I knew it was way back and low and so we elected to back out and I'm really glad we did because tracked him for about 300 yards this morning. We went in about 11 o'clock and uh, had good blood the whole way. He was really just pouring out the bottom of him where, where that big hole was that his organs were hanging out of. And, found his bed and we realized it was pretty fresh blood and we thought we maybe had jumped him and we just followed another 20 yards and there he was laying and I actually held him in my hands for about a minute before I realized he was still still breathing and had to put another shot him in, in him so unfortunately he had to lay there all night but I'm glad we finally caught up to him he didn't just go to waste I'm glad we didn't go there in there in the dark and jump him because we would have been on a wild goose chase all night all right well just kind of give you guys the story on this guy uh, there was, there was some neighbors down the road that had pictures of him during the summer and that I actually seen on Facebook and then on opening day this guy showed up about five hours after dark and he was really moved in there as his fall range after that and I'd get pictures of him every night pretty much and then he'd maybe leave for three nights and then he'd be, he'd be right back in there though and uh, he just kept getting closer and closer to daylight and I knew if we had a cold front he, there was a chance he'd be moving through there during the daylight. Uh, there was all kinds of does in there. He really didn't have a reason to leave. I didn't hunt him at all. I hunted him one day in early October, and uh, then I hunted him the night before last. Didn't see him, and then I hunted him last night, and I ended up seeing him. And I think that's really what paid off with this deer is he didn't even know he was being hunted, not in that area at least. Um, it's a small property. If I would have bumped him, he could have moved out and forgot all about that place he doesn't have any reason to be there if he's getting pressured so I'm really thankful to be able to harvest a deer like this might never be able to do it again hopefully we can catch up to a bigger one at some point but like I said I'm really thankful and I'm just glad we found him so thanks for watching and hope you liked it lockdown outdoors